Hey, what's going on YouTube? The Real T-Dog back at it again with another video. Except this time, it's gonna be an unboxing video. Well, unboxing kinda slash first impressions, I guess. This will definitely be my first unboxing video. I plan on doing, you know, more in the future depending on what I get. If I, if I warrant it, uh, unboxing video worthy, I guess. But yeah, this will be a first for the channel. So, over the weekend, I ordered this, got it in, some of y'all who've been watching the channel for a while know that I've had a that the helmet I've been using for motor vlogging, I've had a problem with wind noise, you know, the whistling, because it's you know just a hand-me-down helmet from a friend of mine with a rubber gaskets and stuff. We're all you know leaking air and all that stuff. But anyways, uh, I finally was able to remedy that by buying a new helmet. Now, this isn't like a top-of-the-line helmet or anything, but it is definitely something that was priced right, and it still had all the features I'd like in a helmet that, that I would wear, you know, every day or almost every day on the street. And uh, here it is. In a box, it's a lot bigger than I expected, to be honest. But, regardless, it's here, so let's open it up and show it. So here is the second box. Ooh. For some reason I like I like cutting these. Here it is. It is the Speed and Strength SS 1600 helmet. In this plastic bag it comes with has a, uh, let's see, uh, I guess it's a, uh, yeah, it's a manual. Oh yeah, definitely a manual. How to remove stuff, how to do that and this and that. All in different languages. Got the uh, little price tag thing. Um, little product tag, I guess. And a little warranty thing. That's about it. Comes in this, you know, I think this is a linen type of a protective bag. Let's see, let's open it. Ah, that's, that is nice. It is the uh, SS 1600 in cruise missile. Right there you can see it, cruise missile. Uh, it's the cruise missile graphic in specifically the black and uh, gray and silver. I didn't know that the, that the silver was neochrome though, but you can see it reflecting off the light. That's kind of cool, I didn't know that. I thought it was just straight silver yeah that's nice the feel of that fresh stew gloss if you don't know that this is a, a visor lock I'm not gonna go through like I'm not gonna go through the uh, ins and outs of this helmet there's plenty of reviews on YouTube to do that I'm just unboxing it, it has the visor internal visor. See, I specifically got an internal visor helmet. To me, they are very uh, convenient, I, sh I guess you could say. In terms of, uh, you don't have to mess with a blacked out or smoked visor, unless you want to. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. I didn't really feel like messing with that, so I just had a... wanted to get a helmet with an internal visor. Got the front uh, chin vents. Open and close the top vents. Even comes with a chin, chin, uh, chin curtain. Wanted a uh, full face helmet, of course, because personally, to me, full faces are 
like the really the only option to me in terms of like a legit helmet. Uh, I mean, the other helmets are fine too, like you know, three quarter helmets, you know, half helmets. All those are fine, but to me, that those are seem more like fashion statements. So if you want no bullshit, you know, protection, full face all the way, maybe modular if you want to spend a little bit more for something a little bit with a little bit more features. Uh, and I went with speed and strength uh, because their pricing is right for me, at least. You know, I'm I'm, I'm not I'm not like balling or anything, so I needed something that was affordable. And like, I have a few of their other clothing, uh, my riding jeans, my riding hoodie, are speed and strength. Oh, my, my, my new, I had new gloves I haven't worn yet, those are speed and strength. I like them as a brand to be honest, so, it's uh, you know, so I mean they haven't done me wrong yet. So yeah, hopefully my uh, moto vlogs from here on out won't have a lot of wind noise, or at least a whistle, that whistling could go away. Wind noise is understandable at certain speeds, but wind, no but the whistling can go to hell. All in all, my first impressions with this helmet, as of right now, even though I've only had it for you know 15-20 minutes, is that uh, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Uh, I'm gonna be riding tomorrow, so that'll be my first time christening this helmet on a, on my first ride with it. And, uh, yeah, I'll just have to give the, uh, give it some time for, uh, for the padding and all that to break into my, to my head. <laughs> Other than that, uh, I'll be uploading a second video to this of uh, me removing the GoPro from that helmet and mounting it to this helmet. So, yeah. Stay tuned for that one. Uh, like always, uh, like, subscribe, comment, share, all that good stuff that you like. And thank you for watching. And I'll catch y'all on the next video. Thank you.